Hello, ICS Math 10 students. I am Mr. Sutton. I teach at Heron High School, and I will be leading you through this Math 10 lesson. This is skill 21B. Hopefully, you have something to write with and something to write on. If you're able to print off the notes, it should look like this. Uh, if you're not, hopefully, you're following along on a scratch piece of paper. Today, we're going to be talking about writing quadratic equations using systems. So we've been talking about writing quadratic equations. This time, we're applying the old skill of systems of equations to come up with what those A, B, and C values are. All right, so we are first going to substitute the values of x and y from each given pair of coordinates to create a system of equations involving a, b, and c. So for all of these, we're going to be given a table like down here, and then we're going to substitute in these x and y values to create a system. So then we can solve the system of equations. Uh, if you have a graphing calculator, you can check the table of values that the function passes through the given points. Um, I'm not going to worry about that part since I don't think many of us do in this course. A rock is dropped off, uh, from a cliff into some water directly below. The relationships between the height of the rock and the time since it is dropped is shown in the table below. So here we're given our values that we're going to use to make our system. And I think we can go ahead and just use these first three coordinates. So what we want to do here is we want to take this first coordinate, 0, 2, 5, 6. And we want to plug it in to our generic ax squared plus bx plus c equals y formula. All right, so I'm going to do that now. My a, then plugging in this x value, 0 squared plus b, plugging in x again is 0, plus c, and now I'm plugging in the y, 256 for y. Now what we'll notice here for this one since we're plugging in 0, 0 squared is 0, a times 0 is 0, this goes away. b times 0 is 0, this goes away. We're left with just c equals 256. So that is always going to happen when you plug in 0. Whatever this value is, that is going to be your c value. That is your y-intercept. Uh, there's a couple of different ways to think about it here. So that one is basically given to you in the table. You can plug in 0 and figure out what c is. You don't necessarily have to if you're able to recognize just from this coordinate that this 256 is going to be c. So now we know what c is. Now we need to find out what a and b is. And this is where it becomes more of a system type problem. So let's apply a similar method. This time we're going to use 1 and 240. We're going to use this coordinate right here, 1, 240. I'm going to plug that in. So I'm plugging in 1 for x and 240 for y. So a times 1 squared plus b times 1. Now I know what c is. I know c is 256, so I'm going to go ahead and use that information. And y, in this case, is 240. Now we can do some simplification here. 1 squared is just 1. A times 1 is A. B times 1 is just B. And we can go ahead and subtract this 256 to the other side. 240 minus 256 
is going to be negative 16. I think that's as simple as we can get this equation. So to make it a system, we need to do another equation here. We have two unknowns left. We don't know what A, we don't know what B is. So if we use one more coordinate, we're going to use 2, 192. Then we can come up with one more equation that we can use to solve our system. So now I'm plugging in 2 for x and 192 for y. Again, I know C is 256. Y is 192. So now plugging in this information into our general form, I came up with this. I can simplify this a little bit here. 2 squared is 4. 4 times A is 4A. I can change this around to B2, 2B. And I can subtract the 256 again to the other side. 192 minus 256 is a negative 64. So now I have these two equations, two unknowns. I have this equation right here. And I have this other equation right here. And they both have the missing A and B values in them. So I'm going to set up a system using those two equations. Let's say A plus B equals negative 16. 4A plus 2B equals negative 64. And now, hopefully, we remember our methods of solving systems either elimination or substitution. I am going to go ahead and do elimination here. I'm going to multiply this top equation by negative 4, but if you think you would prefer to do substitution here, you might think, oh, I have some single one coefficient variables here, so I can just subtract one of these to the other side and do substitution. That is perfectly valid. Please do that. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and I'm going to solve this using elimination. You can solve using a different method, but we should get the same A and B values in the end. So I would like for you to go ahead and try that on your own. Pause the video. Use whatever method of solving systems you prefer here. Okay. All right. So I multiplied this top equation by negative 4, like I said, and I ended up getting this equation down here. Negative 4A minus 4B equals a positive 64. So I eliminated that A term, and 2B minus 4B gives me a negative 2B, and then these 64s cancel each other out. Negative 64 plus 64 gives me 0. So I divide both sides by negative 2, I get B equals 0. Now that I know what B is, I can plug it back into, I plugged it back into this equation here. But A plus, instead of B, I plugged in my 0 equals negative 16. So really A equals negative 16. Hopefully you got those same values for A and B. Now that we know what A and B are though, think back to what the original question was asking, write an equation for the function that models this situation. So we want to write this quadratic here. So we know now that A is negative 16, that B is 0, and that C is 256. And I am writing this as a function called h of t, because if you think back to the context of the original problem, we're talking about height and time. So I am using this notation to represent this function, because I think it most accurately, accurately represents what it is we're talking about here. All right, go back through that problem a couple times. There's a lot of steps, so make sure you fully understand that. Uh, pause the video when necessary. Um, but when you are ready, I would like for you to try this you try problem. Okay, similar type of problem here. Uh, we are given three coordinates. This one is going to give you your C value, and then you need to use these coordinates to get your A and B value. 
go ahead and pause the video when you are ready to solve this one and I am going to put the solution up when you are finished. Go ahead and pause the video now. All right, and here is my solution. Pause the video if you need to, to look through all of my work. Uh, I tried to show as many steps as possible here. So there's your generic quadratic. I plugged in this coordinate to get the C value. Okay, and then I plugged in 125 to set up this equation. I plugged in 5, 125 to set up this equation using that C value that we already have. From there, I was able to set up this system, a plus b equals 20, and 25a plus 5b equals 120, which I solved using elimination. I multiplied this top equation by negative 5 to get this right here, negative 5a minus 5b equals negative 100, multiplied all of these by negative 5, and I eliminated the b value, we're at 20a equals 20, divided both sides by 20, got a equals 1. Then I plug this a equals 1 back into this equation I had up here. 1 plus b equals 20. So then subtract 1 on both sides, I get b equals 19. Don't stop there, because remember, we're trying to figure out what the quadratic function is. So now we know what a is, we know what b is, and we know what c is. So we can go ahead and write our quadratic equation. Okay. That is the end of today's lesson. If you have any questions, Please uh, look at the office hours information on the right-hand side of the Haiku page. Parsons office hours are from 9 to 10. Mine are from 10 to 11. Uh, make sure you are uploading your IPs to the Google Forms. Make sure you're keeping up on all of your e-learning assignments. Make sure you are staying well and healthy. And I hope you have a good day. Bye.